Hi everyone, if you ever have a chance to go back in time, what would you tell your younger self? So here are my five advices to my younger self. Number one, be yourself. So Ellen DeGeneres, one of my favorite hosts, once said that the most important thing in your life is to live your life with integrity and not to try to be something that you are not. I know this is hard and sounded a bit cliche, but I truly believe this is something that myself need to work on in the past, even until now. Let's just stop being fake, you know, pretending to like someone that you don't like, hiding your real thought, act and speak things other people want to see and hear, but not how you feel. Gradually, you will find yourself losing your own voice. I know it hurts when you are rejected by people for showing your true self, but believe me, vulnerability is a strength, not a weakness. There will be someone who accepts you as who you are, and that's how we build strong and meaningful relationships. No matter if it is friendship or an intimate relationship with someone, stay true to yourself. Number two, be aware when it comes to relationships. When we are young, we tend to spend so much time and energy on our relationships. You might think I'm a freak. I actually am. But take a moment to think how much time in a day you are putting on relationship. Now what I'm trying to tell you is time is more valuable than you think and that you should spend your time wisely. I don't say that relationships are bad or anything, but be aware that they do draw a lot of time energy and emotion out of you. Don't just sacrifice all your efforts into a relationship where after two years, you suddenly realize it has been a waste of time and that you now feel totally lost in life because except from that relationship, you have nothing. The game between heart versus mind is always a big topic, but try to balance your time out. There are other important things you should focus on like self-improvement, your career, your hobbies. So if you feel like your whole day is occupied by one person, then just think twice about it. A healthy relationship will help you to grow, not to take you down. And if you feel like you are in a rough one, have the courage to walk away. Set yourself free from a toxic person will always be a good decision. Number three, Exercise more, be active. When I was young, I really didn't think much about keeping myself fit or anything, but I always had this insecurity about my physical appearance. I thought I was a bit overweight and knew I had to do something about it. Until 2017, I saw a video about people doing Ironman race, the triathlon, which is uh, swimming, running, and cycling. I remember the only thing that seemed to matter at that time was the thinking, I have to do this, this is a big challenge, I need to overcome this, this is my goal, this is something really cool, I have to do this. It was so inspiring. I immediately registered for my first race ever. I was so committed that I consistently trained for three or four months, and finally, I finished my first 7.3 Ironman race. I feel so great about myself, and more importantly, I feel confident that I can conquer anything in life. I wish I had done this sooner, so this is to my younger self. Find the motivation to do exercise. You can watch inspiring videos, read stories, or register for a marathon right now. Join a running group in your local area. In recent years in Vietnam, public exercising activities are becoming more and more popular. If you don't have time, there are thousands of exercise videos on YouTube that you can practice along for free. Exercising will not only benefit your mental and physical health, but it is also highly addictive. No more saying about this. Get up now and do some exercise, please. Number four, save up. Admit it, saving didn't even exist in your mind. All right, listen to me. Start to control your spending wisely. Having a backup budget ready for any unexpected event is the best you can do to your life. I'm not saying that you should stop spending or anything, but think twice before you spend on something. Ideally, 
Spend after you save, don't save after you spend. You might think you are still fresh and young and have plenty of time and energy to waste, but in the future, you will need to spend money on different projects or your big occasion in life, like starting your own company or wedding. I mean, looking back, I sometimes regret spending too much on things that are not even necessary. Those parties with friends and those relationships. Oh man, what a time to remember. Anyway, save some freaking money. Guys, if you don't want to end up begging for your parents' help in the future, save up for now. Number five, be grateful for what you have, not what you don't. The key to a happy life is to know clearly what you have. Be grateful and thankful for those things. And thanks to social media, we have the image about a perfect life with beautiful clothes, fancy cars, fancy houses, or luxurious holidays. But those are s I have seen people who are famous influencers that have mental breakdown. But I also seen people, a lot of people, live happily without any social media, without any posting on social Instagram or Facebook or anything, just by appreciating what they have. So from today on, take some time to sit down and think of what you have, your family, your friends, your job, your health, and be thankful that you are already more lucky than a lot of people out there. Gratitude will not only make you feel better about yourself, but also keep you on the right track of moving forward in your life. We are all different, but nobody's perfect. As long as you are mindful of this, life will be much easier, okay? Number six, last but not least, it is consistency that matters, not intensity. So do not rush things. We are living in the world where you can have anything in just a nick of time. Need some information, just one click away on Google, on internet. Need some food, pick up the phone and call the delivery service. Need a relationship, download a dating app, aka Tinder, and swipe right until you find your perfect match. But believe me, not everything is available for you to just grab and go. Look at the things that are fundamental in your life education, relationships, career fulfillment, self-improvement. They take time, a lot of time actually. Take running, for example. You cannot just get up and run 21 kilometers on your first day, ever. You will probably go to hell if you try to do so. Your body needs to get used to that, okay? So people start running step by step, so one kilometer, then 2K, 5K, 7K, and then 10K, and then 21K, and then, and then full marathon of 42 kilometers. You can never build a house without the foundation. You gotta be step by step. You gotta put on the bricks one by one to build a great wall later, okay? So stay calm and love your life. All right, so I think this is enough for today. And this video is also for you Please let me know if you are struggling with anything in your life. Maybe we will have a deeper discussion in the future, a Q&A session maybe. If you like more videos in English, like or comment below so that I will do more of this in the future. Last but not least, please support by subscribing to this channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.